Welcome to the cockpit of a Tesla Model X P100D, the latest in top shelf edition of this incredibly powerful SUV. We're going to give you a quick walkthrough of some of the tech and the functionality that's found in this car. And most of it is in this giant vertically oriented LCD where you control just about everything, starting with all of the options and configurations, everything from opening and closing the doors. I can lift and lower the suspension, control the auto parking functionality, traction control, put in ludicrous mode. We're going to want that and do basically everything else that you can do in the car to change the settings, even things like whether or not the doors open for you as you approach the car. It's all through here through a bunch of menus. But once you get on the move at that point you can turn this into a giant navigation interface we have this massive full screen view of the map the very intuitive and easy to use navigation searching system you can search for points of interest by name a full address a zip code whatever you like it'll figure it out pretty much just like searching on google maps online you can also, though, split this display to have multiple things going on at once so I can keep the navigation up top. And on the bottom, I can choose for streaming media. I can pair my phone and listen to Bluetooth audio that way or listen to AM, FM if I'm feeling old school. You can also get access to your phone's calendar through here. I can get a look at my consumption, which has not been very good lately. I've been driving with a bit of a heavy right foot. I can open up a web browser, which, hey, it looks like that's my favorite website on there. You can even just turn on the rear view camera if you want to right here from the central display. Behind the steering wheel, we have a secondary display that uses a lot of the same functionality as shown on here. So when you have a navigation destination entered in here, you also get a view of the map up here that tells you what your next turn is. You can also look at things like the autopilot functionality. Now, this car is using AP2, which is the second version of Tesla's auto pilot to enable it there's a little stock down here in the steering wheel pull that twice and the car pretty much starts to drive itself but remember this is an assistant system this is not a self-driving car on the highway it'll speed up or slow down with traffic it'll help to steer itself around corners it'll even change lanes when you use the turn signal but this is not a self-driving car again you need to be paying attention and you need to keep your hands on the wheel it's a very good system but it isn't quite perfect yet and overall, that's a pretty good way to describe this system. This is very nice, but the performance isn't great, and it still doesn't have support for either Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. In this day and age, that's pretty disappointing. That's been a quick walkthrough of the interior of a Tesla Model X P100D. Hope you enjoyed it.